Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, well, actually, before I even get started, I want to say I want to apologize for the air conditioner running in the background, but it is hot today and I don't want to shut it off right now. So I'm going to let it go. I don't think it's going to bother you guys too much. And if it does, I apologize. Let me know in the comments and I will not do that anymore. <laughs> but anyway, so today I want to show you something I saw at a flea market. Well, like an, like an outside flea market, you know, where everybody's got their little table set up selling stuff. I seen these and I instantly, as soon as I see, seen them, I thought I can make those and I want to put it on YouTube and show you guys so you guys can make these and sell them if you want to. Um, they're super easy. So there's three things that we need to focus on before we make one. So if you look, let me see where, where I got them at. Okay, look at the length of the working part of the shaft of the hook. See how this one's, you know, what's that one? About two thumb lengths, but then look at this one. See how this one's a little bit longer? If I line that up. Some people like that longer working shaft, you know, working length of the shaft, where others, like this clover, you know, I love, I, I'm perfect right here. I don't need that whole length right there to work. I like, oops, I dropped it. I like that short work shaft. So on mine, I tried to keep it similar to, if I can get these all to stay, to a, to a, uh, a clover. Whereas like these, um, let's see, we've got the boy and we've got the Susan Bates. So if you set those, I'm going to go top of hook to top of hook. See where this is where you would put your thumb on a boy, and then this is where you would put your thumb on a Susan Bates. So it's that sh Susan Bates has that uh, shorter shaft, work shaft area, but the boy is a little bit longer. So I like to get mine about to the to the um, the clover length, and that's where I stopped with my beads, right? Okay, so and I, I would totally say to do a little bit of both because, you know, some people like others. But anyway, so decide, you know, where you want to put your bead. And then I also note, can you see the bottom of the hooks? See how this one has just a little bitty nub? This one does. And then these have a little bit longer of a space at the bottom. And then this one's just a little bit. And then these, I put this little flower, these right here, at the bottom. And then this one, these are all, uh, I don't know, cubish shaped beads, I don't know. <laughs> but I like these because these stand. <laughs> anyway, so, um, you know, that's another thing to think about is the, you know, how far down you want your beads to go. And then the last thing you want to think about when you're working with these is do you want the beads to match the color of your hook? See, mine, I, did, I didn't really go for that. I didn't, kind of didn't think about it. Well, I, I thought about it. I just, it wasn't a big concern to me. I didn't really mind if it matched or not, matched the color of the hook. Like this one, this doesn't match at all to that uh, blue. But now this one, these are actually iridescent. Uh, like they're pearlized looking. So putting them on any hook makes them match the hook. <laughs> so like these are not blue at all, but the blue comes through the bead. Anyway. All right. So let's talk about what you're going to, the hooks you're going to use. So all of these are my boy hooks that I've gotten over the years at resale shops or, um, actually I bought some at Walmart that, that I put in the vehicle just in case I forget my crochet hooks. So I grabbed those out of the truck and then, uh, I did some of those, but I mean, you can do your Susan Bates. Now I do have a clover that I, uh, I actually, I, I don't want to say broke it, but after me using it, the hook came out of the rubber piece, but I have a, another tutorial using those little, uh, rainbow looms, looms from Walmart. Um, and those teeny tiny little rubber bands. And I have a tutorial on how to make a, a, a grippy for your hook. I'll put that in the description. I'll put the link for that video in the description box if you guys want to see that. But I didn't take it off to, you know, do this with it. So 
but you can. I don't want to show you with this one. I'm trying to think if I have another older clover hook, but I'll just kind of give you the gist. If you grab at the bottom and you pinch that real hard, and then just start working that back and forth like this. What happens is the sealant that they used on the inside breaks off and you can maneuver it eventually and then pop that hook right out of there. And then you could make clover uh, hooks with these little beads. But anyway, all right, so in the description box, I am gonna have the link to all of, there's actually four sets of beads that I'm gonna have, but you only see three because I had just a little bit left over and I went ahead and put it in this tube. Um, they actually, let me show you. It was all of these beads and then that blue right there and then uh, something else, but they're all in, I just put them all in the tube. But anyway, so I'll have four links to the beads in the description box. And then, you know, this will be in there, this little flowers that I put at the bottom. And then letter beads, which I'm not big on. Um, so obviously this is an eye for an eye hook. I don't know, you guys can play around with it. I just threw a bead, one of the eye, or I put one of the letter beads on here. Um, you guys could come up with some pretty cute things. But anyway, another thing I do want to say is always, always write down <laughs> what your hook is with your beads. So that way when you're selling these, you can make these little cards and you can, you know, hang it on the hook somehow just so, you know, tie a little piece of yarn on your little card that says this is a, let's see, I wrote this down green. This is a 4.25 millimeter hook. Okay, but anyway, let's let's just get started. So I have my boy hook here. This is a five millimeter. So I am going to write down five millimeter, and then I'll write down the description once I figure out what I want to do. So I've got this big old tube here. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think what color combinations I could do. So you could do, I mean, the solid with a matching flower. You could do, you know, white. I, that almost looks like a giraffe or a cow maybe, and then black. So that's a three color, three different color set. This is a two different color. Now this one is a four different color. And then this one is just a different shapes, but it's three different colors. No, four different colors. And then, you know, like this one I just played around with and did the, the, uh, color in the middle. So let's see. I think I might. Huh, 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 huh. I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm going to open this. You know what? What if I just did all white beads and then just did a white. Oh, no, not. Let's do. What if we did all white with this pretty mint? Or oh, wait a minute. See, it's coming to me. I'm figuring out what I want to do. <laughs> How about white bead? And then in this tube, I have a bead that almost, no, maybe it doesn't. Let's see. What if we did, let me move this. Do I have a beet? Oh, okay. I like that pink with that pink beet flower. How about we do that? How about we do white and that pink? Is it this one? Yeah. So, white. And these things bounce, so if you drop them or drop a bunch, they're gonna go flying everywhere. <laughs> Alright, where's another one of those? Oh, there. Right there. You're gonna need a, a couple. Right there. 
Grab some more white. Sorry, I bumped my camera. I should just do this off camera so you guys don't have to watch me. <laughs> but, well, I mean, you did see my creative process on how I figured out how I wanted or what colors to go with. Okay, so there's a white. All right, I think that might be enough. So move all this out of the way. Oops. Okay, so what I do is I have a cup here with just a little bit of uh, soap and water, just enough to lubricate the hook up a little bit. Oh, uh, let's see. What, I'm going to start with that pink first. So I'm going to go pink, white, pink, white down the hook. So I get this wet with a little soap and water. And then on the end of your hook, there's a little drip. I don't know if, if I move my hook, you guys can't see it, but there's a little drip of water. All I do is hit that right on that, the hole of the bead and let that go inside the bead so it's lubricated all the way down. And then I have a, a pretty thick wad of paper towel right here. The reason being is because I don't want to mess up my vinyl, uh, or not vinyl, I don't want to mess up my, my recording or my filming mat. So to keep it, and you can see all the little bumps on here, <laughs> I don't want that on my mat. So that's why I have this thick wad of paper towel. But all I'm going to do is push the hook right into the top of that bead and then I turn it over grab the bead and pull it down and if it's a little tough go ahead and I'm gonna grab a different hook or I'm gonna get a different hook and just let water and soap lubricate the shaft of the hook there it goes just like that so I'm gonna stop right at the top of the on this boy hook right at the top where the the uh, the finger hold is. I'm gonna go right to the top of that. All right, now I'm just gonna get it wet again. Put a little drip down the inside of the white bead. Set it on the hole and then just push it down. Turn it over and slide it down. Just like that. And like I said, if it gets a little hard, just let some soapy water run down the shaft of the hook. And it slides a lot easier. <laughs> okay, so dip it again. Put a little drip down the inside. And there we go. It's a little drip down the inside. Set the shaft right on there and push. Let it drip. Set it on there. Flip it and push. Good, I'm not leaving little divots all over my thing. <laughs> and sometimes, I mean, that's not bad just to leave it like that. Then, you know, you just have this this grip to work with. I'm going to keep going though. Let's see. Pink. I didn't even think of this, but that does kind of match the hook a little. Well, maybe not. Okay. Pink. Push. Sometimes you get a defective bead. I'm wondering if I didn't get... Nope. Disliked it better the other way. Okay. So, I'm going to remember that my last bead is going to be pink. So, I'm going to go... Pink. White. All right, so I kind of would like to have a little more than just that tip. Well, I mean, will it? No, I don't like that. So I'm gonna take, well, let me see. 
this is good. I don't want to adjust this at all. So I think what I'm going to do is take, oh, I dropped it. Take this last bead off. All I'm doing is just twist and they'll event, twist and pull and they'll pop off. How would that look? So I, I dripped already. <laughs> Dang it, stop dripping. I'm gonna get that right in the, that hole there and let it run all the way through. And put that bead on there, just like that. Now I want to see like if the hook's facing up like this, the flower sideways, I'd rather it be like that. I like that, that's nice. And there you go, there's your hook. So now obviously it's gonna be a little wet from our water that we've been dripping it in. So these do need to set for a little, I just let them set overnight and then they'll dry and be perfectly fine. And if you, let me see, I don't know if I have any that I can use to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't see it to show you what I'm, uh, right there maybe? No, I did them too good. <laughs> so sometimes, let's explain what I'm trying to tell you guys. Sometimes when you're making these, you will see between the beads, the hook, like the, the beads aren't close enough together, like on top of each other. So I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about with this. Once you get these on there, they're not the easiest to get off when they're dry. Okay, so can you see what I'm talking about just by looking at it right here? Between here and here. See how you can see the color of the hook? I don't like that. I don't like it that I can see that. So all I do is just twist and push, twist and push. And you want to do this before the water and the soap that you have on there dry. So if I, yes, I can still see that. So there's a little bit of the water and soap came out. Now if I look, think that looks nice okay so there you go super easy and they're adorable and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of these silicone beads on um, Amazon I'm sure you can find them on Etsy on Walmart I just I didn't go all out with them because you know I'm just gonna do a few for the tutorial uh oh oops but there you guys go. They're super easy to make. And I, you could sell these like crazy at these those little markets. And don't forget, write down what your millimeter is. And then you can put it like, a, like tie a little piece of yarn around it. And then a little label. Like I'm sure you can find like, tiny labels off Amazon or Etsy or whatnot. And then you can just write on there 3.5 millimeter or 5 millimeter, whatever it is. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Easy, fun, something else you guys can make and sell. Which one is your guys' favorite? I have three. It would be this one, this one, that one, and that one. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know, I like these three also. I like them all. What am I, who am I kidding? I don't know. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me Tell me which one you guys like the best. And like I said, let this dry overnight. And I let me also say, this This is honestly just a few teaspoons, tablespoons of water and like one little pump of dish soap. You don't need that. Well, I, it was hand soap, not dish soap. You don't need that much. And then once it dries, these things are not the easiest to get off. Okay, so that's it. All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next one.